What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man, Ahmad here, coming to you from my patio in the back of my house. Uh, why am I out here, you may ask? I like filming out here. It's also probably quieter than filming in the house with my kids running around. They're home from school now. So um, it's kind of cold out here, so this isn't going to be a long video. But I kind of wanted to update you guys on my AirPods Pro Max and um, and also tell you or do an unboxing of the ear cups that have just gone uh, just gone on sale uh, through Apple. So uh, let's get right to it. So here you have my light green AirPods Pro Max. Um, why did I get the light green? Uh, to be honest with you, because it was the only color that I could pick up. Uh, when these came out, they were really they were on back order pretty long. According to the back order, when it first came out, I wouldn't be getting these until a couple of weeks from now. So I've had these for what a month and a half, maybe a couple months. I forget exactly when they came out, but I had I got them about a week after they came out. But that's the reason why I got the light green ones. Love them. They're great. They sound wonderful. I use them for everything. Um, from listening to TV, listening, watching TV, excuse me, and hearing the sound through them, because I have an Apple TV, to listening to music on my iPad, to listening to music on my phone, the only thing I don't use them for is working out, right? But with that use comes wear and tear, grime and dirt, things of that nature. Cleaning this part has been easy. I just wipe it down, wipe it down. It's not that big a deal. I'll take these out of here. Cleaning the outer part, not that big a deal. They're aluminum. However, cleaning these ear puffs, these ear cups, excuse me, um, not quite as easy, right? I don't know if you can tell. They're a little dingy looking. Uh, I've used baby wipes. I've used a number of different things to really not get the results that I want. I've been wanting a darker set of ear cups uh, for a while now. And voila, this week... Apple started selling the individual ear cups, which I wanted to go ahead and, and get a different color to match up anyway. So it's perfect. Now, for those of you that are, you know, commenting like, oh, well, Apple, um, there has to be a way to clean them. There is a way to clean them. I've, you know, I've researched that video, or I'm sorry, researched that topic, seen a write up by Apple on there. They do have a recommended way to clean these. But with these ear cups being so light, I'm going to have to clean these way more often than I want to, right? And with the ear cups switching out so easily, I figured, why not? So, today's video, as I stated before, we're going to go ahead and unbox my new ear cups and slap them on, see how they look, right? Let's go ahead and stick these back in the case so they don't get scratched up by the table here. Go ahead and get this knife. Let's expedite this because it is cold out here. Let's see. Let's, let's stick these on top of my iPad. Once again, I'm outside, so if it sounds like I'm in the middle of a tornado, it's just the wind blowing. All right. So we're going to open this up. Aha! This is the packaging they come in. As you can see, I got the black ones. I wanted to really get the blue ones. To be honest with you, I wanted the blue headphones, but I'm sure you picked on up on this. I'm a pretty impatient person. So the black ones were my second option. So I went with these, and, uh, and there's a plane flying over this now. Okay, great. Let's wait till this plane passes. Looks like a private jet. Someone on there who makes a lot more money than me is going somewhere. But uh, anyway, here is uh, here are the black ear cups. And let's see, let's use this because once again, oh, actually I don't. I forgot Apple always packages their stuff pretty awesomely. So let me go ahead and put down this knife before I cut myself and this video turns into something less uh, family friendly. Um, so you open it, and I'm assuming you can kind of pull this out. At least there's like a little arrow thing. 
Or I guess you can kind of pull this out, right? Pull them out both at, all at the same time. I mean, you don't really have to do that. You can kind of just, you know, just do this. It's quicker. So the black ones, you know, they got the R and the L in here, like you would expect. So let's go ahead and take these out of here. Let's go ahead and replace the right ones first. As you can tell, I did it wrong. Uh, I had the R's on, I had the R where it says L. I don't know if you can see that because I uh, apparently don't know my letters. But anyway, let's go ahead and put the L on here. Bang, one ear cup switched out. Now we're going back to the R. Two ear cups switched out and we're done. This is how they look. I think they look pretty dope. The green and black kind of reminds me of the Matrix. Since the Matrix 4 is going to be out this, this year, that kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of apropos that I have these colors on here since it is one of my favorite movies. And I'm completely amped about it coming out, but that's a total, totally different rant. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. This is this is the this is what they look like. Um, that's how easy it was. And uh, that's the end of the video. Ta-da! Well, that's about it, everyone. Real short and sweet. Uh, I still, you know, love the headphones themselves, performance-wise, sound-wise. These things are great. Uh, I think the new black ear cups only make them look even doper. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video, was entertained in some way, shape, or form, found some sort of positive value and something you could take away from this. Uh, if you did, go ahead and mash that like button. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know when I release some more content. Uh, plan on releasing something very soon. Um, there's an app I found on the App Store. Uh, I've been wrangling with paying for it because it's pretty expensive, but it's a pretty valuable uh, networking, network security, offensive security type of tool, it seems. Uh, so I'm probably just going to bite the bullet and pay for it, give you guys a review, let you know what I think. But uh, that'll be coming up here sometime in the near future. With that being said, uh, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, wonderful rest of their week. And uh, it is cold and my hands are freezing. I'm sure my lips are getting ashy. So I am out.